And we mentioned the Twitter. Uh, ABC News reports that there's there's a Bush Twitter account, but it's being maintained by the by the presidential center. W would that be the real news here if he actually went and you know the, the former President Bush goes and tweets himself? I would undoubtedly follow a Bush Twitter account if it was authentically him. I mean, can you imagine it, it, in 140 characters full of bad spelling? I mean, I actually think it's probably really uh, would be his forte and it would be fascinating. The other thing that's great about Twitter is, of course, people can yell at you. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's, it's a no space, kidding. as of course, you know, no kidding. I didn't know that. <laughs> so I would. Oh, gosh, I, I would. I welcome. Mm -hmm. um, Former President right. Bush to Twitter. You want the first two? The first tweet would be biking, and the second tweet would be just crashed into tree. Uh, Melissa Harris Lacewell of Princeton and MSNBC. Great thanks as always. Thank you, Pierre. Our regards. Um. Hi. Well, Pierre made it on national television, <laughs> and that's a Princeton professor right there for you. That's that's the state of television. All right, thanks, <laughs> Professor. That's countdown for this, the 44th day of the Deepwater Horizon disaster in the Gulf. She doesn't think I knew that was coming, but I saw it on Twitter. And she told him, good night and good luck. And now for the very latest from the Gulf Coast, ladies and gentlemen, here is Rachel Maddow, live from New Orleans. Good evening, Rachel. Good evening, Keith. Thank you very much for that.